yo yo what's going on at the fight world it's your boy money back with another one fam and this one here is on this marvelous app called boxing showtime it keeps you guys updated on every big fight it's free you can go download it right now i want you guys to check it out and i'll be back with the great assessment family if you're a boxing fan and never want to miss a fight, Boxing Showtimes is the app you need. This is a professional boxing schedule in your pocket that keeps you up to date on what's going on in the world of boxing. Enjoy watching fights in a bar, sipping a cold one? We got you. An interactive map with your local boxing bars is available to you at any time. And that's not everything. Set reminders, buy tickets, watch official highlights, get boxing news, and so much more. Download now. Thank us later. Yo, 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 what's going on at the fight world? It's your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one here is on two future Hall of Famers and the big dog in this fight game. We have Earl the Truth Spence, Jr., the king of the welterweight division, the WBC, the IBF, and the Super WBA, unified world champion. Then we have Terrence T. Bud Crawford, the three-division world champion, the former undisputed world champion, the current WBO welterweight world champion. And then we have Jerron Boots Ennis, that young up-and-coming killer from Philly, the top contender, um that's ready to take over the game. But Jerron Boots and his one let Terrence Bud Crawford know, listen, you ducked Earl Spence, you gotta see me. You can't duck Earl Spence and duck me at the same time. I repeat, Boots, let Terrence Bud Crawford know. He's ducking Earl Spence, so he has to see you. He can't duck Earl Spence and you at the same time. Now we all know Jerron Boots and his is ranked in every, you know, sanctioned body out there. And we all know he's hiding the WBO and hiding the IBF. So, Jerron Boots Ennis is ready to take on a top contender. He's ready to make his name. He want to be a world champion. You feel me? He wants to be a world champion. And he's doing everything he has to do, you know, to show people that he want to fight Terrence Bud Crawford or Earl the Truth Spence Jr. Now, when it comes to Terrence Bud Crawford, he has a mandatory, you know what I mean? And if he's not facing Earl the Truth Spence Jr. in a unification bout for Undisputed, then he has to honor that mandatory. And it looked like Jerron Boots Ennis is going to be that mandatory. Right? Now, Bud know everybody want to see him and EJ inside that square circle. He know these things. But he continued to do things um, different because he said he, he is his own boss. Right? And Earl Spence has to listen to Al Heyman and things of that nature. So it's going to come a time to where you have to step up to that mandatory and face Jerron Boots Ennis, who's on your ass. I must say that. Jerron Boots Ennis is on your ass. Now, Terrence Crawford is a hell of a fighter. Can't take nothing away from him. But at the end of the day, people are ready to see him in the fight to where they feel like he can lose the fight instead of just being in fights the way we know the outcome. Now, when it comes to Earl the Truth Spence Jr., EJ gets discredited for stopping the Udenis Ugas the WBA Super World Champion, going in there and taking a scrap up off of Showtime Sean Porter, beating a top five what's away to Danny Garcia, and most definitely beat a top champion in Carol Brooks. Right? Now Earl Spence wants to fight with Terrence Bud Crawford, and Bud is ducking the man. He's ducking him. So now everybody look at Bud, I mean, sorry, everybody looking at Earl like, well, Earl look like he gonna fight Keith Thurman because the WBC, you know, they just put themselves in position for their mandatory to be up next to face Earl Spence. And we all know Thurman is that guy. You know what I'm saying? If Earl want to take him on, it's going to be Keith Thurman for the mandatory position, right? And it looked like Earl Spence will oblige. Seeing that he want to fight Keith, I mean, sorry, seeing that he want to fight Terrence Crawford to keep undisputed alive for us, the people, and himself, right? Earl Spence want to be the undisputed welterweight world champion in Fort Beth era. So for him to do that, He's going to have to fight a mandatory if it's not turns Bud Crawford next. And like I said, it looked like that mandatory is going to be Keith Thurman. Now, with that being said, we know Terrence Crawford has to fight this mandatory, like I said. A lot of people thought it was going to be Virgil Ortiz, but Virgil Ortiz looked like he's about to fight Stan Jonas for the WBA position, right? So now, Terrence Bud Crawford, you have to see Jerron Boots Ennis. If you're not going to fight EJ, you have to see Jerron Boots Ennis. You understand? And Boots is, is, is more than willing to face you wherever, bro. He's more than willing to face you wherever. He said he'll come over to BLK Prime, even though you're not with them no more. He'll fight you on the moon. He'll fight you in your backyard. 
He'll fight you underwater. He just won this opportunity at a world title. And if it's not going to be Earl Spence, then he want to see Terrence Crawford. Because at the end of the day, EJ holds three belts. Crawford holds one belt. Jerron Boots Ennis wants to be a world champion. So that means if Earl Spence is already in action fighting Keith Thurman, then Terrence Crawford needs some action. Terrence Crawford needs some action. He just got his little tune-up out the way, right, to get the rust up off him or whatever he felt. You understand? Fight David Avanesian, a man who didn't deserve a, a world title shot. And now Jerron Boots Ennis is sitting right there, high, high, high in the WBO, and he's willing to take you on, bro. Now, you said, this is Terrence Crawford's words, um, I fight Jerron Boots Ennis and Virgil Ortiz in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. But them guys never came across my desk. Now, Jerron Ennis is about to come across your desk. And we're going to see if you're going to step up to the plate and face him. And not duck both Earl Spence and Jerron Boots Ennis. Right? Because I remember Steve Nelson, right, was trying to say that Earl Spence is going to go to 154 to duck Earl, I mean, sorry, to duck Terrence Crawford and to duck Jerron Boots Ennis. But he never spoke on Jerron Boots Ennis being a mandatory for Terrence Bud Crawford as well. So, Boots want to let you know, bud. You can't duck EJ and duck me at the same time. <laughs> it just can't happen like that, bro. Enough of the other, other, other David Avenesians, right? It's time for you to get into the ring with some real competition. Let's go challenge you, and you can possibly lose the fight. You know what I mean? And I'm that guy. I'm that guy. Now, credit, Boots is willing to face Earl Spence or Crawford. Either or. That's why I respect the young king because he's coming up and he want to come up raw. He don't want to come up weak. He don't want to come up just giving him a, a, a anybody to fight for a world title. He want to fight the top shotters for the world title. But like I said, if Earl Spence is busy with Keith Thurman, then Terrence Crawford is right there and Jerron Boots Ennis is his mandatory. Look like he's going to be the mandatory. Sorry, right? And Bud is going to have to answer that call. He's going to have to answer that call. No if ands, buts about it. No if ands, buts about it. Ain't no, oh, you know what? I'm going to go over here and fight this weak opponent. I'm going to fight Blur Cobb. I'm going to fight this cat. Nah, fight Jerron Boots Ennis, bro. Fight Jerron Boots Ennis. You just had your little touch up. Now it's time for you to fight some real stiff, tough competition. Earl Spence versus Keith Thurman is a hell of a fight. That's some real deal stuff competition right there, right? Even though everybody got Earl Spence winning the fight. Keith Thurman is still a dangerous man. Way more dangerous than David Avenesian, must I admit. Yeah, way more dangerous than David Avenesian. You understand? Keith Thurman only has one loss to Manny Pacquiao, and he was damn sure in that fight. Pacquiao dropped him in the first, but it went hells and hot water from there. Thurman landed some big old shots on Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao was landing right back on Keith, right? Um, Pacquiao ended up winning that thing in, 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 in a, a tough, ruling one, right? So when Earl fight Keith Thurman, Keith Thurman going to be on this ish. He's going to go in there and train his ass off because he know he got an opportunity of a lifetime to go out there and fight the king of the welterweight division. And Earl the True Spence Jr., a fight that a lot of people wanted to see when he was the unified champion. But now that EJ is the unified champion, right, it's still come back to fruition if Earl Spence bless him with the opportunity. So if Earl Spence bless Keith Thurman with the opportunity, um, Terrence Crawford is going to have to bless Deron Boots Ennis with the opportunity and um, not make up excuses or run. Or try to say, you know, it's high risk, low reward, or none of that. After he already said out, out his own mouth that he will face Jerron Boots Ennis in a heartbeat. Right? Those was Crawford words. I will face Boots in a heartbeat. They name never came across my table. But Jerron Boots Ennis said, y'all never reached out to him for not even a, 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 a sporing match, let alone a real match. You know, y'all never reached out to him. So now, Boots is in position. Look like he's about to fight January 17th. I think it's the 17th or the 18th um, on Javante Tank Davis on the court. And after that, that kid will be ready, right? Right around the time that you will be ready, bud. You know what I'm saying? If Earl Spence don't step up and want to face you next, if he don't want to grant you the opportunity, you want to go face Keith Thurman next, then turn Bud Crawford. You have to fight Jerron Boo Sanders. You have to. You can't go fight no more Ru the weak Rudy Poos and just getting back. Because you want to use the, the the notion that, oh, Earl Spence don't want to fight me, so I can fight whoever I want to fight now. Now, you got to fight some real tough competition like Earl Spence doing. Can't keep getting bad like that, bro. And cats can't keep making up excuses for you um, on reason why you're fighting these caliber fighters as well. You know, at the end of the day, 
Jerron Boots Ennis want the Terrence Boyd Crawford fight. Virgil Ortiz want the Terrence Boyd Crawford fight. You know, it's no excuse why Bud is not fighting tough competition if Earl Spence is facing tough competition. And you got a whole world title. You have a whole world title. So at the end of the day, right, Bud feet need to be held to the fire. Just like they try to hold Earl Spence feet to the fire and put his ass in there with, with at least a, a fight that's 60-40. Even if it's in his favor, a fight that's at least 60-40. Not these motherfuckers 99 um, to 1% type of shit. Because that's what Bud just got through fight. You know what I mean? Straight up. Bud got to fight this real deal competition and, and, and get the people what they want as well. Get the people what they want as well. Stop talking about your accolades and you return and things of that nature and fight the best of the best that's out there that people want to see you face. At the end of the day, we want to hold Earl Spence feet to the fight. We want his ass to fight the best of the best. We want the same thing for Terrence Boyd Crawford. That's it. That's all. Jerron Boots Ennis is sitting right there. He did everything he got to do to get an opportunity at a world title. 2023, that man deserves his opportunity. He deserves his opportunity. If Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford is not going to fight for Undisputed, if Earl Spence is going to fight Keith Thurman, then Terrence Crawford needs to fight Jerron Boots Ennis. And that's just the fact of the matter, bro. Enough for the ducking. Enough for the ducking. And to the end, it's your boy Monty's the NSBC moving. Everybody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. You want to donate? OG Money on Cash App. Trayhampton52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If not, just tell a friend, tell a friend. Hit that subscribe button. Like, comment, share the videos. And y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status, family.